Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. I'm here with Robbie, my good buddy. He runs YouTube channel Merc Man. And uh, so, if you saw the previous video, we were at the gym doing the summon testing. <laughs> and a lot of people were kind of complaining about the way it acted and because uh, it was kind of a busy parking lot. And they were wondering if the car could actually pull out and because we had backed the car and the car was kind of pulling right out of the spot. So in this test, I got the Tesla over there. And basically, we're going to have it summon. I'm going to walk all the way down there. Um, I'm going to hit the summon button uh, and see if the car can back out of the spot, which I've seen it done in other videos on YouTube, and then uh, pick us up. It actually just rained a few minutes ago. Yeah. It would have been a cool test to see it actually pick us up in the rain. Not like I care about getting rained on, but it's just kind of a best case scenario of why yeah. this might be used for real. So uh, we're going to have it back out pick us up this parking lot's much more empty as you can see so uh you know before there was people kind of walking around and interrupting the car with its moves so i think this time it'll be a little well it's not as real world yeah. as the gym parking lot but at the same time it'll give a better feeling of what the car would do um you know as far as backing out turning the corner and uh, as well as picking us up and uh let's see it let's see how it works yeah let's, let's do, do it. it okay All right, here we go, test one. Car's backing out, looks good. Got the parking spot a little short, but it's all right. Look at that, put the turn signal on, but oh wait, we got someone coming here. So I just let off the button. It says summon is stopping. I wasn't sure if it was going to stop, so I just stopped it. But here we go. Resummoning it to the target, I press the button. And there it goes. I placed the target pretty far down, but it keeps going. That's turning left now. Maybe that's where I put the target. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe I did. Okay. Yeah. I think they're just watching.
What do I do? Shit. All right, that's not good. The uh, police officer just pulled over the, the Tesla. It ran the stop sign. So the car, you can summon it. Yeah. And uh, so it's like a new feature from Tesla. They like if you were in a shopping center, you can bring the car to you, but it, right. it doesn't have a stop Didn't work that out yet? Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know who to write the ticket to, so. Well, I wasn't driving. Yeah. Not good. You have your driver's license, anything like that, so I can make sure everything's all good? Yeah, yeah, let me get that for you. So the Tesla just got pulled over for running the stop sign in front of an officer. We didn't see him over there. He was coming from the gas station. So he pulled me over and I kind of explained, we're just kind of doing a video on how to, you know, how this works. And uh, I don't think I'm getting a ticket, but he definitely wanted my license and registration to make sure the car all checked out. This definitely poses an interesting situation for uh, autonomous cars. If he does write a ticket, who gets a ticket? Do I get the ticket? The car get the ticket? Because I'm the owner? I don't know. It's a... I don't know, but let's see. Let's see what happens here. Robbie, what do you think? Uh, hopefully we get out of this without a ticket. Alright, he's coming back. All right, checks out. All right, Maybe apologize. Uh, technically, no one really ran the stop sign except for the car. The I mean, car ran the stop sign, so yeah, no ticket. So, nope. Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a good day. No problem. Thanks. All right, no ticket. There we go. All right. So I don't know. Is, is this the first Tesla to get pulled over? I think so. With no one in it. <laughs> That's super sketchy, right? I don't know. So a couple of comments after watching back the videos and, and uh, putting everything together. Um, so first test went okay. Uh, the second test, not so well. I mean, you could see where it pulled around the corner and was heading face on to oncoming traffic in front of that Mercedes. Uh, it definitely should have stayed on the right hand side. So, you know, that car actually, I had to stop, get in the car and that Mercedes actually had to go around us. So I think just the awareness of its surroundings just isn't there yet. And it really needs to be there for uh, really using this smart summon in real world situations. Uh, on to who's responsible for an autonomous driving car. Of course, the owner is responsible for the car. Uh, but as things progress, you know, what's really going to happen with regards to uh, if the car makes a mistake, it's never going to be perfect. So, you know, if something happens, if there's a traffic violation or something happens on the road, uh, and it's, you know, shuttling people around, 
you know, ultimately the software from Tesla is responsible for making the error. And if, a, if full autonomous driving is really just a couple years away, I think government and uh, police agencies really need to take a look at, you know, what do you do? Who do you write the ticket at? Who's ultimately at fault? If uh, the owner's not even in the car and it's operating the Tesla taxi service or, you know, what if, you know, the passenger was intoxicated sitting in the back seat and uh, the car's driving that person home? I think there's endless kind of scenarios that uh, autonomous driving is going to present uh, in the next couple of years. Of course, I really do praise Tesla for pushing the envelope farther and uh, making these features available to test for owners uh, well ahead of any other manufacturer to take these kind of risks and put these kind of feature sets into the real world, into owners' hands to kind of test out. It should be really interesting to see how the next couple of years go with regards to autonomous driving. The Tesla Model 3 is supposed to have all the hardware needs to completely drive by itself, but when you see what it's doing right now in a scenario just navigating a simple parking lot, uh, I just can't imagine how much work there really is to do uh, to make this a real reality. I honestly kind of feel like city driving and highway driving is a lot simpler than navigating a parking lot with cars backing in and out, pedestrians, bicycles, uh, I feel like parking lot situations for dropping off and picking up people are just way more complicated than, you know, city driving, stop lights, uh, stop signs on main city streets, as well as the highway driving. You know, I think Tesla's autopilot does a fantastic job on the highway now. And, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, seeing the future. Uh, I got my P100D right here. Unfortunately, this one just got the software update, but this one's old. And I don't have all the cameras, so I really can't play with all the features in that. All I really got is Spotify. I don't get the Tesla theater. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to Plaidmo next year. Hopefully that comes out sooner than later so I can get uh, my Model S upgraded and move on. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think of how you think the Model 3 did today and the couple of scenarios we tested it in. And uh, ultimately, if there was a ticket to be written, I guess it would have been me. But what are your thoughts on autonomous driving, citations, and uh, all that kind of good stuff. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. We'll keep the videos coming. Thanks for watching.